Once upon a time, there was a family so mysterious and so spooky that they seemed, well, just like family. And now, they're back. The family you now know and love to death was brought to life in 1938 by cartoonist Charles Adams. Conceived as a satire on the 20th century American family, the comic quickly became a fixture on the pages of The New Yorker, captivating readers with a blend of dark humor, gothic visuals, and a close-knit family united by morbid curiosity. In 1964, the Adams Family made a leap to TV, where its eccentric characters were first named. Morticia, Gomez, Wednesday, Pugsley, Uncle Fester, Lurch, Thing, and Cousin It. Morticia was the matriarch, played by Carolyn Jones in the series. Though stern and aloof, she's utterly adored by her husband, Gomez, who was played by John Astin. The loving pair chose this lovely residence in New Jersey, next to a cemetery, to raise their two children, Pugsley and Wednesday. Wednesday is sweet with a soft spot for spiders, while her devious brother Pugsley often engages in behavior the rest of the family deems odd, like Boy Scouts. They're tended to by their loyal butler Lurch, who was played by the 6'9 Ted Cassidy. Lurch was Cassidy's first role in Hollywood, where he made a career by playing physically imposing characters. Gomez's childhood BFF thing, a disembodied hand, was always available to lend just that. There never seemed to be a dull moment with Uncle Fester, played by former child star Jackie Coogan. And who could forget Cousin It, who was composed entirely of floor-length hair. The series ran for just two seasons on ABC, but its cult following endured and helped spawn several other TV appearances in the 70s. In 1972, The Addams Family joined a special episode of Scooby-Doo, and the following year, an animated Saturday morning series ran on NBC. In 1977, a live-action made-for-TV movie with many original cast members aired in time for Halloween. And it wouldn't be the last time The Addams Family graced the small screen. To get the family to the silver screen, producer Scott Rudin hired Barry Sonnenfeld. Sonnenfeld had been the cinematographer on Big and several of the Coen Brothers films, but the Addams Family marked his directorial debut. One of his first tasks with Rudin was to secure Angelica Houston to play Morticia, who would receive a Golden Globe nomination for her efforts. The 1991 film also starred Raul Julia as Gomez, Christopher Lloyd as Uncle Fester, and Christina Ricci in a breakout role as Wednesday Addams. May I have the salt? What do we say? Now. The film skewed decidedly darker than the TV series, thoroughly embracing the tone of the comic. The effort earned $191 million at the worldwide box office and an Oscar nomination for costume designer Ruth Myers. A sequel was soon put into production with the same cast and the addition of Joan Cusack, playing the scheming wife to Fester, Debbie Jelinski. Adam's Family Values was released in 1993 and earned another Oscar nomination, this time for Best Art Direction, Set Direction. Houston was Golden Globe nominated yet again for her portrayal as Morticia. <laughs> Over the years, the various adaptations have captured the tone and wit of Charles Adams. Pugsley, don't drink it all. This gentleman wants some too. But now his distinct drawings are getting new animated life on the big screen. It's hideous. It's horrible. It's home. Hitting the big screen in animated form for the first time, the film brings along an all-star cast. Academy Award winner Charlize Theron as the voice of Morticia, Golden Globe winner Oscar Isaac as Gomez, Stranger Things star Finn Wolfhard as Pugsley, and Chloe Grace Moretz as Wednesday. How I wish something would liven up this already tedious day. <laughs> Thanks for trying, Ichabod. Nick Kroll plays Uncle Fester. Bette Midler lends her timeless voice to Grandma. Allison Janney is Margot Needler. Eighth grade's Elsie Fisher is Parker. And Snoop Dogg is rolling down the street as Cousin It. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. And that's the beauty of family. The door's always open if you dare to come inside. What a lovely morning. Ha <laughs>